Welcome to a vlog of decorating a new residential space. We're in Houston, Texas, and this is gonna be an interesting one because it's very neutral, it's very traditional, it's very fancy and elegant, and I really, really love this vibe, but there is no color involved. So this is a very different and tricky experience for me and my taste because I'm a very colorful and funky and whimsical gal and Annie too. Her house is like so much fun. Let's make this love last till Valentine's. Let's spend this night together. Let this fire burn inside our hearts. Let us soak in all the pleasure. I just realized that the wall color is exactly the color I wanted to paint in. So I don't think we need to paint anything. Sweet. Hello, guys. I'm here with Annie. Guess where we are? We're in Houston. We are. We're in Houston, Texas. I've only been here once and it was to go on a road trip, so I was here for like five minutes and left. But it's it's pretty interesting. I was here for a data conference. I wasn't actually doing the data, but I was just here enjoying Houston. <laughs> really? <laughs> Currently, we're looking for taskers on TaskRabbit. When we travel and we have projects that are out of state because I'm based in Miami, but I do take projects out of state all the time. Almost all my clients are out of Florida, but I use TaskRabbit because it's the easiest way to find people who specialize in certain things you need. For example, hanging up art or painting walls or putting up molding. And that way you end up meeting really cool people and really professional people and then you can hire them next time you come. I think what we're gonna have to start doing is organizing where everything goes. Yeah. So we'll take all of the pieces into the rooms, all of the rugs and stuff, and then honestly, we could just open things up and see like what we're missing, what we need to go out and buy and make a list. There's something getting delivered tomorrow around 10 a.m. And they said it's a pallet. So that sounds like it's gonna be huge. I forgot I bought a chandelier for the dining space. There's a pretty big chandelier in here and we're gonna box it. I'm actually very excited about this. I forgot I ordered this chandelier. I don't know, I don't know. I guess I just forgot. I, I stuck on my job. This process was pretty rushed than what I normally accept or what I normally allow when decorating a space. We had about less than a month to gather everything, order everything, have it delivered, and then me coming out here. So, I mean, I'm not complaining. This is amazing. It's turning out amazing. But when that happens, sometimes it's hard to keep track of things. So, let's open this baby up. Living room chandelier, set. <laughs> trying to find something that fits the console table and this mirror might be perfect. Oh, it is. Nice and a bit smaller than regular, but the lamp looks really nice, the ratio. So it's kind of like the lamp is the main character and not the nightstand. No, it's cute. I really like it. Do you have an outlet on that side? Yeah. Ah, so cute. It's like also a little beachy because of like the creams. By the way, I didn't get exact measurements for decorating this space. Obviously, that's something you should never do. It was just very crazy. She's, you know, she's not in town, so it just was impossible. So we did universal measurements. If the bed were facing this way, only one fits because then you can't open the closet door. So the problem is that we already have two nightstands and two lamps. So the second option would be to put the bed here and then squish two nightstands. And one con is that when you enter the room, it'll feel pretty tight because the bed will be taking up most of the space. So you have to like walk through here. There's always dilemmas in this, so stay tuned. Cause there's always problems. Okay. Right. So we flip the room. We're on our way to 
go on a huge shopping spree. The point of today is just to source and then kind of like regroup ourselves and decide what we want to buy. I'm having a hard time not putting a lot of things inside of this home, <laughs> but we're gonna make it look cool. We need something like that that will go in the living room, but with a little bit more personality, I think. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, right? That's number two. Hardest things to find, one being bar stools and two being a coffee table. Yeah. I'm so picky about coffee tables. There wasn't too many things that, you know, we loved, but now we're going to Sweet Tea, which is across the street. Oh my God, they have parachutes? <laughs> I've never seen a parachute store. Me neither. YouTube channel is to vlog everything I go through good and bad and I feel like if you came from TikTok you only see the perfect things because I don't normally talk about this I only have 60 seconds to make like one little vlog so I always leave out typically I leave out the bad I'm gonna show you guys everything we go through I definitely left a lot of things last minute just because one i told you guys i didn't have too much time for this project in order to source i haven't had time to wait for anything to be delivered most things are back ordered and that's the craziest thing when being a decorator because everyone wants everything quick and i can't control delivery times so you have to improvise and that is what we're doing right now so this typically happens in all of my projects just because this is a huge problem when decorating Oh my god, these cats are iconic. That's so funny. I wish I could oh my them. god. I love that one. Wait, I'm like obsessed. We made it to Goodwill and the gods are helping us because there's a Hobby Lobby right next to it and we need to go to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Hobby Lobby. <laughs> Hobby Lobby. <laughs> these are really cute. And this will be for the gallery wall. Okay, Goodwill was somewhat of a success. We bought a frame with a grandpa on it. Oh my god, there's a spider. No, you're lying. Yeah. What? Yeah. It went in there? Yeah, it went in. Oh. Good morning. It's day two decorating the apartment and we just woke up. I rented a truck last night on Toro. Toro always saves us on these trips. It's actually crazy. I rented a truck for, it was like $102 plus taxes and then like, young driver's fee because i'm not 25 years old yet um it ended up being like 170 dollars which isn't bad because we have been ubering everywhere and we have to pick up a lot of furniture today so guys if you're ever in this situation just rent a truck on Toro. it's honestly like lifesaver yesterday we were really stressed because we couldn't find any furniture that matched the style or that was in stock or just like fit our budget um, so we decided to go the secondhand route, which honestly my client will be super happy about because she wanted secondhand and she loves secondhand. So I found this lady on Facebook who makes her own furniture and apparently everything is in stock and it's beautiful. It matches perfectly. And hopefully she's answered us. She's our only hope. Like literally the fact that we found her is insane. So I'm just hoping she answered because the problem is that she's in Dallas and we're in Houston. It's like a four hour drive, so we need to figure out if we can even buy the things and bring them over here, which I think might be our only option, so we have to figure out a way. <laughs> the lady still has an answer. Brittany? You look cute. She probably went out last night and hasn't woken up yet. That's all it is. I know. Okay, hopefully. That's probably all it is. Okay, we're gonna take a moment and look at Annie's outfit! She looks so cute! <laughs> okay, you're Look at her. Cutie. <laughs> Off to get the car. <laughs> the truck. Okay. We just need to figure out where we're going now. Oh my gosh, this is a nice yes. truck. Okay, we got guys, it. we have secured the truck. These trucks are like way easier to drive than a, a normal car in my opinion. So we're on our way to an estate sale. This is very exciting because I've only been to estate sales in Miami. And the reason why we're going to the estate sale is because there's a lamp we really want. And like, ooh, the gods are gonna help us. Mm -hmm. 
hopefully because it's the second day yeah so hopefully the lamp is still there oh my god you guys is he gonna get the cat oh my god where is he gonna take it wait i'm so confused oh my god what uh, -uh i'm gonna go get him he's going right back out into the street <laughs> almost had a heart attack. I literally thought it was like a plastic bag. <sighs> oh my god, okay, give me a second. It was like right in the middle of the street. And every car was going over it. Like it could have gotten smushed. Screw that guy. I know, why the fuck? saw what we were just doing and put him in the bush. Oh my god. Oh my god, we almost hit this beautiful kitten. We're gonna backtrack drop him off and then go directly to the estate sale? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. We were on our way to the estate sale, but now we're at the vet. Okay, I think what's gonna have to happen is I have to go to the estate sale by myself and he stays here, does the vet visit and we figure out what to do with the poor little kitten. I had to split up because we won't be able to finish our job if I stay here. And we're like running low on time. I'm like literally just freaking out a little bit, but we're fine. I'm gonna head over to the state sale. And Annie's gonna stay with the cat at the vet. And hopefully we can find somewhere to leave her meanwhile, because also we can't really take her back with us because we're staying at her client's house. I'm assuming it's where all the cars are. Someone bought the lamp, it sold for $60. I left my phone number because apparently the person who bought the lamp is a reseller, which obviously makes sense because it's such a beautiful lamp. So I left my phone number and I said I'd pay anything for it because we are in need of a lamp and hopefully he'll contact us tomorrow. I'm like praying that he contacts us tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys a little haul of what we bought. First, we got this cute little candle holder and it goes on the wall and I think this just makes like a really fun piece instead of putting art we got this cute it's like postmodern art deco very cute for the bathroom it'll bring in some color which I love and you guys already know I have so many art pieces that look like this in my house it was kind of expensive it was $25 thing is this tray $45 but look at us look how I'm filming <laughs> but it's beautiful it's stunning the golden accents are just beautiful and i think this will make a great like jewelry thing on her console table in her room so i think it's just perfect for that i scan every receipt i get so i can provide them for my clients i literally just scan them on the notes app and we have all the receipts cool i came back to pick up annie and I think our only options are to fly or to drive there. Okay guys, we're at Olive Garden right now. <laughs> I never met anyone who likes Olive Garden other than me and Andy Clark. Me and Andy Clark have like a really funny inside joke of Olive Garden because we grew up coming here and like everyone hates it. And Andy wanted to eat here and I started laughing so hard because like I've never met anyone who's ever said they want to eat Olive Garden. Which is crazy because yesterday we were talking about Olive Garden because she got the little mints, the little Andy yes. mints. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna ask for a hand. <laughs> we're picking up food to go and we're gonna drive to Dallas. We finally got in contact with Brittany. Thank the fucking Lord. This woman like wasn't answering and stuff, but she said she was having a family crisis. So honestly, I respect oh. that, especially because we were also having a little kitten crisis. So we just left him at, I, I'm calling him Winnie. Like Winnie? Winnie the That's so cute. But we just left him at the, we just left him at the vet and he's gonna be boarding there for the next couple of Oh my nice. god. And we have an adopter in the Houston area that goes And he nice. found someone who wants to adopt him. Yeah. Oh my and, god. And like, look at him. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. No, he's so cute. I wish I could keep he's him. He's literally precious. And he found him a home already, which that was like really fucking quick. So. We got breadsticks! <laughs> These are the best breadsticks I've ever had. We got four. We're on our way to Dallas right now. And we are meeting Brittany who has the hookup. And she apparently she's a designer. She might be a decorator. She gives me decorator vibes or interior designer. I, I looked at her profile. Is she an interior designer? She's very cute. I can't yeah, tell. Yeah, she's super cute. I think she might. Basically on her Facebook, it says like she started designing 
um, furniture because she couldn't find any affordable and pretty furniture and honestly I fucking respect that nowadays everything is just shitty quality or just not that cute it's really hard to find really nice things so she saved our life all of this is beautiful too this for what like the bathroom yeah I feel like it's so cute. So pretty. And we're thinking about this little horse. Hook. I think that's nice even for the guest room to just have it on the I floor. agree. I Can agree. Yeah. There's these. I saw. <laughs> They're Should awesome. Should we just get one? We made it to Lowe's in Dallas. What are we picking up, Annie? We are getting blankets for moving to protect all the things that we're getting. And then we're also getting, well you can't, I don't even know what they're called, the, the little metal things for the lamp. Okay, so we made it to Dallas. It's like 6 p.m. We're picking up the blankets and then we're gonna go pick up furniture. And then we're driving back home and sleeping for hours. <laughs> yeah. I'm like really tired right now. I'm like really brain dead right now. I can't speak. Cause you 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 just had like highway hypnosis where you basically drove yeah, you, so yeah. long. You just learned this. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys, we made it. We did, and it's the cutest house. It's so cute. Four hours later, and we made it to the house. We're gonna meet here and go in the house, I guess, and see the items. I don't know how we're gonna carry this. It's gonna be really heavy. Oh my god, her door is yellow. That is so cute. Hey guys, how's it going? Hi. Hey, how, are you? how are you? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, like this is not my personal style, but this is beautiful. Oh my, I can't believe we found her from Basic Market. <laughs> I'm happy we got here. Oh my god, definitely. Need. Like we definitely need to do that, like on that one. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, we're, guys, we're regrouping and trying to see what we're gonna buy, and we'll keep you guys updated. BRB. We got these like bases. This base is sick. And this one. Coolest part is that she freaking DIYs these. Like, she makes them. I have met a lot of people through Facebook Market, really cool people, and concerning people. This is by far the most impressive person I've ever met. Like, I'm literally inspired right now. These are the things we're taking, plus some of the things are already in the truck. They're beautiful. Literally beautiful. 